Have you ever noticed that after the A-10, Warthog attack aircraft takes off? Its landing gear never fully retracts, always leaving part of it exposed? That's not a design flaw. It's actually the Grim Reaper leaving it a lifeline. This aircraft is famous for being nearly indestructible. It can keep flying with one engine knocked out, with half its tail and wings blown away, and even with fuel tanks punctured without leaking or exploding. The cockpit is wrapped tight in titanium armor, earning it the nickname Flying Fortress. But what intrigues people most is that half-exposed landing gear. This is purposely designed for emergency. Battlefield landings, if the hydraulic system, is damaged and the gear can't be lowered. You can't just have the aircraft scraping its belly on the runway. Those partially exposed wheels act like emergency foot pads, taking some of the weight during landing, reducing fuselage friction, and greatly increasing the pilot's survival chances. There's another small detail. Why is the nose landing gear tilted to the right? You need to first look at what's inside the nose. The GAU-8, a Avenger Gatling gun. Just the cannon body plus ammunition. Drum takes up most of the space. If the gear were placed in the center, it would interfere, 